Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Marcus, your personal scientist. In this episode, we're going to learn about moon. Have you ever wondered why sometimes the moonlight uh, uh, behave differently? Sometimes you can see a full moon, sometimes you can see a crescent moon. Any scientific reason behind that? So, before I teach you one experiment to learn about the faces of moon, let us find out more facts about moon. The moon is a dusty ball of rock with size of roughly a quarter of Earth. Although the moon shines bright in the night sky, it doesn't produce its own light. We see the moon because it reflects light from the sun. As the sun sets, the moon rises with the side that faces Earth fully exposed to sunlight. Cause the portion we see illuminated to change. As the moon orbits the earth, we can only see a portion of the lit up side. When we can see 100% of the lit up side, this is a full moon. When we can't see any of the lit up side, this is called a dark moon or new moon. To see the faces of moon, you need to use a ball and a torchlight. Simply so shine the torchlight onto the ball and you can see the reflection of the moon. But however, our room is too bright to observe the shadow of the moon. So, to do the faces, to make uh, the faces of the moon uh, easily to view, you need to do it inside a shoe box, okay? Inside an enclosed shoe box. Alright, now there's a few other things that you need to prepare uh, besides the shoebox, but you need to have a few manila cup and then you need a ping pong ball, you need a cable tie. Step number one, you need to prepare a small size torchlight, you need to prepare a box and a marker pen. Use this torchlight to make three holes. One at the center, at this longer side, one at the center, the other two on the left and the right. Okay? Then you need to turn over to the shorter side. You need to make two holes. One, two. And then this side you no need to do any hole. The third side, which is the opposite of the shorter side, you need to make another two hole. One, two. Okay? So let me count all the holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then ask an adult to help you to cut the hole. Now, if you don't have a torchlight, you can use a flashlight from the phone. So the size that you need to cut is around 50 cm, uh, sorry, 50 cents size. Yeah, a coin, a 50 cents coin size. Over here. There you go. I make a three hole. One, two, three on this longer side of the box. And then two hole over here. And two hole at the opposite side. Now next, I'm going to use a manila cut. Okay. To cover each and every hole. Now to cover the hole, you need to put a cellophane tape just above. Yeah. Just above over here. So that you can make a small window, just like this, okay. So that you can make a small window, yeah, for you to put the torchlight, okay. If you want, you can place it at center as you can. There you go, all right. To make a window, to make all, make a window to cover all the hole. All right. Now I'm done with the box where I use a cut to cover all the holes at the side as well. So next, I'll be teaching you how do you hang this ping pong ball at the center of the box. First, you need to measure what is the distance yeah, from the box towards to the roof of the ping pong ball. Over here, I have 3 cm. So you need to use this okay, to do, all right, to bend this way. Okay. And on top over here, you need 3 cm height 
and you bend this way okay so this will act as a hanger to hang the ping pong ball all right as i mentioned earlier on this will be the 3 cm depending depend on my box okay if your box is thicker if your box is thicker then the height of this ping pong ball will uh, this the, the height of this cable tie will be different okay so what you need to do is you need to open up the box all right and you can paste at the roof of the top box now when you paste make sure this is hidden from your eye okay from the height meaning is you i can either to point it to the right or you can point it to the left okay so in my case i'm going to point it to the right and i'm going to adjust at the center of the box and i'm going to use set up to paste the cable tie all right so after i paste the cable tie the ping pong ball is hanging nicely so even though when i close it then the ping pong ball will be hanging in the center of the box right we're done with the model how to see the faces of the moon you need to you open up one hole and your eye going to peek into the hole and look at the moon now the other hole you must remain close and we're going to open one by one and shine a torchlight into the hole yeah into the hole and shine it on to the ping pong ball so what i'm going to do next i'm going to take a picture of each hole yeah of each hole where i put the uh, torch light okay I hope all of you enjoyed making this Faces of the Moon Observatory box and see the Faces of the Moon right in front of your eye. Now to improve this experiment, I may mean, to suggest to use a, a thicker manila card so that you can really cover all the lights going into the box. Secondly, you may use a brighter torchlight, okay, a brighter torchlight to see the real shadow, to see the shadow uh, um, even even clearer and the, the reflection of the moon even brighter okay so that's all for me for today I hope you enjoy it takes 29.53 days to be exact the faces of the moon make a complete cycle the faces of the moon are new moon waxing crescent first quarter Waxing keepers, full moon, wedding keepers, last quarter, wedding crescent, and go back to new moon. I hope all of you enjoy this experiment regarding faces of moon. See you next time.